KFC presents a sad story. I was sitting in my dorm room and relaxing as it was a Friday night. I had days off on the weekends. I was watching a movie when suddenly I received a call from my manager. For a little background, I worked at a KFC part-time during the night. But that day, I had taken off from the store. I picked up the call and the manager told me in a disturbing voice to come out and attend the night shift. I tried to reason with him, but it was useless. His voice sounded different and I could sense trouble. I disconnected the call and sluggishly went to get dressed. I took my car keys and headed off to the store. As I reached there, I saw that most of the lights were dimmed out. I saw the manager standing and waiting for me. As soon as I stood outside of my car, he hurriedly gave me the store keys and headed off to his own car. It felt a bit strange and my sixth sense started to kick in. As I was entering the store, I felt a sense of dread rush all over my spine. There was nothing unusual except for the fact that I was the only one on duty that night. We usually had two employees working on the night shift. I tried calling Susie, but her call just rang on. I called her again, but still the same. Susie was the one I worked my night shifts with. I stood behind the counter and started fiddling with my cell phone. My phone was fully charged, and so I thought of continuing the movie that I was watching earlier. After 30 minutes, I heard a clanking noise from the storeroom. I was suddenly taken aback and paused the movie. I was too timid at that time and decided to let it be. After about another 30 minutes or so, I heard another clanking noise. This time, I couldn't hold my curiosity. I slowly walked towards the storeroom and twisted the knob. The room was pitch black. I couldn't understand why the lights were off. The light switch was basically a few feet away from the door, and the room was quite large. I made my way through the dark in search of the light switch. I had left my phone on the counter, and I was regretting that decision. I stumbled upon something and fell on the ground. I could sense something wet and slimy. I quickly rushed to get up and rubbed my hands on my apron. As I was closer to the light switch, I heard the front door creak open. I knew it was a customer. I hurriedly went out and greeted the woman who was standing in front of the counter. The woman looked at me with great suspicion. She then quickly went outside and practically ran outside without even letting me finish my greetings. I was so confused at this point that I couldn't hold my curiosity any longer and went inside the storage to turn the lights on. The light turned on. To my horror, I saw a body laying on the ground with blood splattered all around it. It was Susie. I had tumbled upon her and the slimy substance was her blood. I quickly checked my hands and it was filled with her blood. I was panicking at this point. The lady had seen me with bloodstains all over my body. She was calling the police, and I would be framed for her murder. I stepped back when suddenly I heard the clanking noise again. Fortunately, I was carrying my phone this time. There was a dark corner in the end where we kept our cleaning supplies. I took my flashlight and started walking towards the dark corner. Someone was standing beside the collection of brooms we had in the storeroom. The figure slowly started to emerge from the darkness and I was shocked to see Susie standing right in front of me. But she appeared differently. She had an unnatural posture. She appeared like a machine or a doll. Her head was tilted to her right. She had bloodstains all over her, and the creepiest thing that I noticed was her skin was loosely hanging from her body. She started to walk towards me, as if all her bones were broken and somehow glued together. 
Her eyes were yellow and her skin looked pale. As I was about to run out, I could hear police sirens outside the store. I was frantic at this point. The fake Susie was standing in front of the back door, and I was wondering what to do. Suddenly, Susie let out a growl and bellowed, Hi, I'm back. I'm fine, Mac. In a deep voice. Her voice seemed like she was mimicking a human, but it was so unnatural at the same time. My adrenaline kicked in, and I rushed past the entity. I jolted open the back door and rushed outside and began to run. I could hear footsteps running behind me. I turned back briefly to see Susie was now on all fours. She was leaping behind me. I ran full sprint towards the forest that was behind the KFC outlet, and I hid myself in a bush. It's been 45 minutes that I'm hiding here. I can hear the cops looking for me. I can't find Susie anywhere near me. I'm writing this post to let all of you know that I'm innocent and I need your help. Please help me. Hey guys, it's me Spino. If you enjoyed that video, which I'm sure you did because you made it this far, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 2k before the end of this year, and please share this video with your friends that like this kind of content, because I'll be posting more videos soon. Also, I just finished updating my Discord server, uh, and I would love it if all of you guys joined. It's in the comments down below.